welcome to a new vlog. Well, I think I'm gonna do a whole week in my life. I haven't done this in a while. I think I like owe you guys a big fat vlog. So <laughs> let's start it off. It's Monday. What a perfect day to start a vlog. I'm making like an ice, a bone broth, hot chocolate. This is like my shit lately. Whoa. Giant boss. Need to add some more ice. So it's bone broth. Mm chocolate collagen coffee if you watched my last vlog i did like a five healthy snacks and one of them was the bone broth hot chocolate mm. but i literally just add like coffee it's either espresso shot or yeah. like i do like six ounces of coffee to make it like energize a whole like breakfast thing this is the rest of the lemon juice oh i like split it in half because it was a lot for you here we go because I put half in this and like half in yours. Yeah. This is a fat lemon. I'm with Cass, that, by the way. I don't know if you've, oh, yeah. know if you've seen her yet. But <laughs> I'm not talking to myself. Probably not. We're going to a Ligree class this morning. This will be our third class. It's like pretty hard. We're very sore. I'm nervous. I'm sore. I know. It's like I'm getting more, more sore every day. It's like, is it dangerous to work out when you're sore? Like, no, it's not. But then you just get triple sore. Yeah, it's just the movements are harder because like you're already harder. sore. Like I was worse yesterday. I think I chose the right length straw for this. Like I'm happy. Your ratio is adding up. This looks like it's all coffee, and that like I'm like crazy. <laughs> How did like this plus coffee and ice equal like this? <laughs> <laughs> they say like the cups are always like deceiving. Like you ordering more, like a bigger cup doesn't necessarily mean you're getting more liquid. You just add ice to it. Like at Starbucks and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like always get a um, large size now. Venti. A matcha? A matcha, even though it has sugar mixed into it, yeah. the powder. It's like a treat. Yeah, it's a treat. <laughs> Definitely not an everyday Starbucks girl. And I, pretty much Starbucks is like, oh no. Mm. Do you need some? Mm. Pretty much Starbucks is like my last resort. Starbucks is like my last resort. I would like always rather go to like some local place. Of course. Of course. I don't know why. It's cuter. Anything chain is like rarely cute. We're not chain girls. What else is on our agenda today? Massage, podcast. We're getting massages. Our goal this afternoon should be to record. Like, we yeah. should, I don't think we should like push it to the evening. No. Like, let's just like do it. After massages, like get something, like get ourselves settled, whatever, like get something to eat. And then like, let's do a little podcast. Like that's the goal. Yeah, I reviewed it this morning and added more. There's to no it. reason to procrastinate. We uploaded yesterday's, now today we yeah. record. We already have a Monday record. recording. That's like as good as it gets. Mm -hmm. Have we ever recorded on a Monday? No, but like, do we need to start? Like, having that as a goal? Yeah, like, why do we wait till Thursday? It would just be so much better for me to record earlier and record edit in chunks because it takes me so long to edit that it's such a daunting task and I'm like great I'm gonna sit here for six hours now so you like procrastinated I rarely ever edit like in small in chunks. chunks no but if I did like 20 minutes 30 minutes like I'd be less miserable yeah but you have to start earlier in the week in order to do that yeah such a vibe here. I feel like I'm ruining the vibe by vlogging. We're getting a couple of massages. 
Did you get the same cookies as yesterday? Yeah, I just got those little baby cookies. Carrot cake? Carrot cake, yeah. It's 11 11. Mm -hmm. On March 11th. Hello. Hi, yes. Hi. Hi. Good, how are you? Thank you. Yeah. Got out of our massage. How cute is this spa? It's like all outdoors. It's like little day beds to sit in and such. You got a green tea. Is it really hot? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm fucking so relaxed. So relaxed. But... I'm feeling great. Like a lot of stress was released from my body. I was trying to breathe through the really oh my God. deep. Was he doing like your, like right here? Yes. In my hands, I was like. <gasps> that was the most painful part for yeah, me. Yeah, it hurt. At, in the very beginning, he was getting under like my scapulas. I think oh, it was that's because painful. it hurts. And I think mine was extra sore because of surfing. Into surfing this year. Yes, I agree. Either this summer or well, maybe when you're with Eric. Are you guys gonna do surf some surfing thing? Like when you're in Europe. Yeah, we are going to a surf town. So maybe like do like a beginner's thing with him. Yeah, I mean he's yeah. not a good teacher, so he's not. No. What makes you think that? We just know that. Oh, we know. Oh, that's like a thing. Yeah. So I'd get a lesson. I would do a lesson then. If I tried to teach myself, I wouldn't have enjoyed it. No, I for sure want to get a lesson. I totally appreciate like lessons Me of too. anything. Right? Yeah. I love like learning from like someone An who knows how to teach. Teach. I, I, I'm not like a do it myself. Do it yourself myself. That would make my whole year. What if I learned how to surf? Yeah. Because we would do it together. Because we could do it together. When I was in Costa Rica, like Irene had never surfed either. together is so much easier. Oh, there's less moving parts, yeah, right? Yeah. Like on here? Oh, on there. Yeah, you, know, you should harder. take the SD card out, put it in. Yeah, it's wanna, yeah, yeah, it's trick, trickier. No, I want to like like stay like this yeah. so that no, you're it good. sounds the same. This is good. Okay. Do you feel like it's closer to me? Slightly? Because to me, it feels like closer. <laughs> I don't know how to measure that, but like, I don't think so. I'm like <laughs> trying to like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Girl math. <laughs> girl math. I would One, be like two, yeah. three. <laughs> nah. Girl math. <laughs> How many Four acrylics? Like, acryl <laughs> Five eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Five Latisse eyelashes. <laughs> Not regular eyelashes. I know that you wrote like a lot of these. One, two, three. I don't even remember what I wrote. Welcome back to the Sitting Pretty Podcast. This is your host, Kendall K. And Cassie. Hello, vlog. We're on our way to the grocery, like a natural food store, because... I think I have a UTI. I think. I've never had one before, but I just have this inkling that's what it is. And Cass... I've had them. Uh, I was going to say, can I, can I say that? Yeah, yeah it's like can. pretty common. I haven't but even had sex. I was like, going to say, I think it's weird that you feel that way because I, I get them from having sex. Yeah, so mine's definitely not from that because I haven't had sex since 2023. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dry, dry panty. Dry panty Jan. That was like so dry panty Jan. Dry panty Jan. It's like too small where it like almost like doesn't fit on my shoulder. Oh, the ocean's looking absolutely oh gorgeous. It's looking really nice. Wait, let's walk on here. Got my fanny pack. <laughs> Cass is on the mom game. I made her a matcha <laughs> for the for the road. 
We're gonna go to like a natural food store to try to get some natural remedies. Cause of course I don't have health insurance, so I can't just go <laughs> to the doctor and get a prescription. And I wouldn't want to do that anyways. Yeah, I was gonna say, would you want so, to do that anyways? I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'd rather get some cranberry juice. So we got a whole list of natural remedies we're gonna try to find. Like super specific herbs and things. That's gonna be hopefully what cures <laughs> cures me. Honestly, if I wake up feeling worse tomorrow, I might have to like go to the, the urgent, care. urgent care or something. But first, nat first attempt is the natural remedy. Okay, we need raw honey. Like that one looks good because it's unblended, unfiltered. They all raw. This one is. That this one's one raw. Is, yeah, this one. So this that, one looks cute too. That one does look cute. So it is the same, 16 ounces. Yes. I like how this one's like creamy. Yeah, creamier. I wonder what- It's whipped, that's why. What Probably, the difference right? is. And blended, unfiltered, undiluted. What the heck, which one do we get? But you like are updating each other and showing you're interested without putting any effort in and it seems so childish. Yeah, like I've, my future husband's like texting me. He's saying like, how's your day beautiful? Not sending me a photo. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like so low effort because you know that these men are like mass sending snaps to like all their roster. You were a bartender all of college. Cass and I are about to head to dinner. We're full black and white mode. Thanksgiving. Yang and yang. <laughs> We've got the girly bubble dresses on, the little heel, kitten heels. This is the setting pretty vibes <laughs> yeah. that we're we love. We love. <laughs> Vegas, kind of, or, what? oh my god, <laughs> LA, I mean. I don't know where my head's at. Oh. <laughs> We're on our way to LA, Cass and I. It's early, early morning. I've been up for too many hours. It's 8 a.m. and we're sitting outside a juice place because I'm doing a juice cleanse today. And today is like a very ambitious for me. I'm doing a juice cleanse. So I'm picking it up right now, but they don't open till eight. So pre-gaming my juice cleanse with a celery juice. <laughs> that dinner last night was so fun. Cass and I probably had one too many tequilas. <laughs> Although I'm usually okay with just two. I should have had one. One and done. Uh, Well, that's what I say. Like one drink is like the magic number. I don't know why I sometimes think I can like break my own rule with that one. We were just being fun last night. Well, so I've, I've, okay, so here's my thing. If I do just tequila, like straight up, like Classe Azul, which is what I was drinking, I'm usually fine. Mm -hmm. Because it's like pure tequila high quality. So I've been doing like up to two Classe Azuls. But sometimes it just messes with my sleep. So 
I woke up in the middle of the night, like both of us kind of woke up in the middle of the night. Thank the sleep night. was not sleeping. So I've kind of been up since three. Yeah, I don't know why I think I can be like a fun girl. I'm just not, <laughs> just not. I'm a one drink girl. Kendall, you are a one drink girl. <laughs> don't forget it, one. So you're gonna have one drink tonight? <laughs> I'm going to the Bad Bunny concert tonight. <laughs> And Cass just asked if I'm only gonna have one drink, and then the thought of only having one drink at Bad Bunny seems like not enough. Criminal, literally criminal. criminal. Like I need like multiple tequilas for that. Yeah. I need at least two. Yeah. Four. Maybe the problem is that they were like double tequilas last night, so I actually had four. Would that have made sense? Uh huh. I don't really know. I couldn't really girl math my way through that one, so I'm gonna aim for one drink tonight, assuming that it's a double. Oh, the juice place just opened. Oh. That's our cue. Mm. Wait, I had many do I have to pick? I uh, just two. Two. The choice green is gonna be like the most popular one, and then you're kind of looking for like the most healthy, healthy one. It's probably gonna be like the madly green one because it's got broccoli in it. Right. Greens one or like a sweeter one? Well, one of each. Since it's a juice cleanse, should I do like more fruits so that like more sugars? Yeah. Maybe. Move right like I was thinking. Or what were you? Thinking? Oh, the choice greens has apple. The skinny greens. Where's that? Oh. Okay. Yeah. You can get some I think I'm gonna do the choice greens and the skinny greens. Is calling my name. Broccoli sounds interesting though. I've actually tried the truly madly green. It's definitely like not sweet at all. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I'm gonna do choice greens and skinny greens for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Apple always makes it taste good. Yep. You have to get these again? Yeah, I love them. So good. <laughs> it looks like you're carrying a six pack, like yeah. a beer. Like a beer. It's a six pack of greens. Cass and her cowboy hat is cracking me up today. We full, we're full on characters right now. And I'm in my fur coat, and it doesn't help that I'm also vlogging. Yeah. It's like, who is this girl? Okay. After a hangover, I want all the liquids. So that's kind of why this juice cleanse is sounding, like sounding good. good. Okay, so I'm gonna drink the celery. What is that? Yeah, do you have and the then order? What's next? Yeah, maybe you should grab a card. And then the chlorophyll. We are juice cleansing today. 30. Yeah. I just got my makeup done and I'm about to go to the gifting. Sweet. I always get anxiety being in LA. So I kind of have the social anxiety before this thing. <laughs> we just got to Boohoo headquarters. And in their show, we're going to pick some looks out. I feel like such a nice looks right now. Aren't you always No, I feel like I'm a fake. A fake Yeah, I'm in Boston syndrome. This set is so cute. This is really nice. Oh my god, cute. What am I need an outfit for? That's like a good question. Are you feeling like you're lacking anything in Maui? Coachella. So. And then after this, you're going to your shoot, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, I don't know. Come back and hang out with you for a little bit. So I can yes, unload it. You should wear your And I can unload it. Well, I want to run into creation before. Okay, I'm trying on some looks. Trying to figure out which one I want. This like matching style is really cute. I feel like it would be a cute for a photo, for a photo shoot. And then we got this like black skater dress, super casual.
parties. I went to the sauna, which like, I feel like I'm on a high right now. It improved my new mood so much, which it does do. I did an infrared sauna. I thought I could do a grocery haul for you guys. I always get these jicama sticks to snack on. They're so good. I got two packages of them because they're seriously just my favorite thing to snack on like while I'm cooking or whatever. Got some garlic for a veggie broth I'm making. Some bone broth. I'd love to get beef, but they only had chicken, so I use this in my bone broth hot cocoa. Same with the dates. I'm also just obsessed with dates lately. They're like nature's candy. Love like roasted broccoli or even steamed broccoli. Got a bunch of celery to make. Celery juice. I got butternut squash to put in my veggie broth. And then I love to snack on carrots. Cucumbers for salad. Lettuce for salad. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. And boiled beets. And then this dressing is really good. Like, got really good ingredients, and I love it. And then, these are for my veggie broth, the carrots. I got a bunch of bananas that I'm going to let ripen for smoothies. And I love to prep chicken breast. I'll either boil it or bake it, and then just have it, like, cut up in the fridge to put on salads. And this salmon's pretty good because it's wild-caught. We love that. And then, some tomatoes for salads. So, it's my healthy grocery haul. I am shopping it up in the kitchen right now. I got my veggie broth going. And then I basically just put all my veggie scraps in water and make a veggie broth. And it's really so yummy. And then I'm boiling some beets. I, my favorite way to eat beef. And then I'm making some salmon. I definitely have leftovers, which will be nice. And then I've got some roasted veggies. some of this dressing. There used to be a salmon and some veggies for lunch. I'm gonna top it with some of this green goddess and some fresh lime and that's our lunch. Hello friends. I have been doing work. I've honestly been in the kitchen like all day. You guys saw me do like the meal prepping earlier and I just like created so many dishes. I feel like I've been doing dishes forever because I don't have a dishwasher, but I turn on the camera because I'm actually like not doing well and you guys are my friends, so I figured I should tell you. What happened is like not that dramatic, but like I just got really triggered. I figured that even if I don't post this, it's like a good way for me to like talk about how I'm feeling and have like almost like a therapy session with myself because my therapist isn't available and neither is Cass but when I'm doing dishes sometimes I'll just like let my Instagram stories play um to like as like entertainment like I'll pop my phone up and um of course, I've unfollowed Luke and all his brothers and like anyone related to him so that I don't have to see his stuff because it would be very triggering for me to like see his name even. But like I was looking at my Instagram stories and someone reposted something that Luke posted on a story like Luke tagged someone and then re and then that guy that I still follow for some reason like reposted Luke's story and I saw Luke's story and this can never happen again like I need to avoid seeing his stories at all costs because I feel nauseous guys like it's so bad I don't know how much more I can say because I don't I don't want to obviously not that big a deal but like if you're trying to get over someone please unfollow them H hide mute them, whatever, mute all their friends because I swear it's like the worst feeling to like see them on social media and like see what they're doing and like see that they're having like a good time and that they like seem fine without you. Hard guys, I don't know what the cure is for this, but it just makes me like so sad.
Like, I'm still so, I like act like I'm, go I'm okay, guys, but I'm not. Like, I'm so deeply not okay. I so deeply miss him. Do you guys have any tips for getting over somebody? Please let me know, because I just don't ever see myself getting over him. It's been so many months. <laughs> let me take a big shower, clean my house. The good thing is that this feeling like lights a fire under my butt, like it makes me just wanna like, go live my best life because this is no way to live. I will live my best life. Thanks for listening. you today but I just went to the dentist I got my teeth clean and I had a veneer appointment I'm getting veneers soon it's like a long process it's like a this is my second appointment out of five the first point was really just like a consultation and then today I got my teeth cleaned and they took x-rays and scans then next time is like another appointment so it's gonna take five points for me to get like finally all of them done but it's just kind of the prep stuff right now. I'm really excited. I've like never loved my smile my whole life. So I did do Invisalign. It definitely straightened my teeth out, but, but my smile is like very like indented. And also my two front teeth are longer than all the others and I want them all to be the same. So there's just a lot of things that can be shift, shifted with Invisalign, but it's just better with veneers. You can do a lot more with veneers, so I'm really excited. And I'm in a great mood because I also went to a workout class this morning with my friend. So I hung out with her. Yeah, this veneer stuff has been a long way coming. My consultation was two months ago. And I'm working with them on Instagram um, for a discount. And so I was kind of like waiting for to get the contract finalized and all that. So it's finally like rolling. I'm excited. I just love anything that improves myself. Oh, I was gonna say he told me to get mouthwash. So I wanna order that. He told me to get TheraBreath, which I've used before. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. He said it's like the best one. He also said that I need to brush better my back teeth because I have like some swollen gums and I need to start using mouthwash to get like the bad bacteria out. I've never really been educated on that. Why is there so many flavors of their breath? I should have had it. it. Should have been mine. Couldn't quite ever get that organized. Yeah. Um, Eric is freed in today too. I just hope he's not getting sick. I mean, I'm not kidding. He's been partying his face off, and he never parties. Like that's not his jam. What's going on? I guess it's the band practicing, and then he got in touch with an old friend he hasn't seen in a long time, and I mean, just things, you know? Yeah. Things keep happening. And he keeps saying yes. And it's okay to say yes, but also he's not a partier, so this is why I worry a little bit. Like, that is not him. He doesn't go for days. Yeah. He does one a week, M maybe not even, you know. Does that drug bag, do I have to leave room for that too? No, I'm, that's fine. I'm bringing it to Maui. Oh, and this box is not, doesn't have a handbag in it. So, did you figure out what you're wearing away tomorrow? Yeah, my green sparkly blazer. With what? I don't know. I kind of wish I had like a little black dress that I could wear like black tights. Simple. Something very simple. White wouldn't work. You know, that'd be weird. Although I'm thinking it starts at 7 and the sun, it's going to be still kind of light out. Yeah. And the party, she starts her little thing at 6 in her backyard. Yeah. That sounds cute. It is really cute. She always goes all out. Like, well, I think I'm going to go to Alex's house for a pre, a pre party. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Where's his? Oh, yeah, that's right. He lives in um, 
eliminate or something. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Well, he mm -hmm. said he said starting at two or three. Oh, okay. I said I would come at five. Is that is that rude? Obviously, you have to have some kind of excuse why you're coming at five. I didn't. Oh. Into the belly, into the chest, and let go. Nice, deep, circular breaths. Five more. Let's give it all we got. Become aware of the blood running through your veins. Do you want to prolong your breath hold? Pause the video now and continue when you feel the urge to breathe. All right. Breathe in and hold for 15 seconds. Exhale in three, two, one. Let it go. Move your body bit by bit, starting with your fingers and your toes. This drink literally gets me out of bed in the morning. I'm like my obsession lately. It's a iced coffee. It looks massive, but that's because I also put this is sounding like this is gonna sound like the weirdest combo, but bone broth. And I add collagen, raw honey. And today I added sunflower seed butter, which is so it's like literally so random. But if you mix it all things together, it's like it's giving like iced mocha, but like really healthy. And 25 grams of protein. So good. So I'm gonna sit here and edit a podcast episode. While I drink this, I'm like kind of in the sun right now. It feels so good. Not me, like literally pre gaming by myself right now. My dad is playing a show tonight, he's in a band, and I'm gonna go to a pregame at my friend's house, and I'm like, having to arrive alone, so I'm having like, really bad social anxiety, but I wish Cass was still here, it'd make it so much easier and funner, but we are doing it, girls. But this is my outfit I've got. I'm literally playing rat caviar to like, hype me up. Um, I've got my little trucker hat on, little house of CB top, some baggy jeans and my like Louis high tops. I'm wearing like my cutie little bag. And that's the outfit. It might be a little cold. It looks so sunny out and I just want, it's like St. Patrick's Day weekend so I wanna like wear something sexy. And this is like kind of green, right? Not me literally pouring a shot by myself. This tequila is so good, I got it in Cabo. I love, love tequila. LFG. Ready, Kendall? Cheers! Cheers!